What is going on guys, Greg Ols TV. I wanted to run through some of the new features of iOS 14 on the iPhone. This is an iPhone 11 and the three things I wanted to run through are widgets, app library, and running videos with them being on top of other apps so that you can do stuff. Cause I think that's the three biggest things anyway that you'll be able to probably use on a daily basis and that you'll notice. And I also want to compare how they look to Android because Android has has these features or has something very similar and has it for years to come. It has had it for years. So let's jump through it. So the first one is going to be uh, watching videos on top of other things. So let's jump into a video real quick. So I have a Netflix video right here. I'm gonna jump up, swipe it up, and it's automatically playing. And I can move it from the left to the right to the top and open up another thing on top of it. So if I open up, uh, let's open up Twitter. So I got Twitter open right here. I got a video plan. I can scroll through it, watch my video, do that. And I, unfortunately on this one, so with the tablet, the iPad, you can make this bigger or smaller, but with the iPhone, you cannot, unfortunately. I don't know why they don't let you, but they just don't. Uh, but otherwise, it's kind of cool that you can do this now on an iPhone so you can watch a video do your social media or just jump around within the operating system and do whatever you want. So very cool stuff here. I like that, that they finally added this ability. And again, Android's already had picture in picture. Actually, Android can do uh, multi-window as well, something that the iPhone cannot do. iPad can do it, iPhone cannot. So let's take a look now at the Android side of things. And with Android picture in picture video, it's actually basically the same. I'll open up and do this with YouTube. Um, and play the video, hit the home button. And the big difference here with uh, Android is that I have a little bit more control where I can put it. I don't have to just flick it at the top corners like you do with an iPhone. It basically will go almost anywhere that I want. I can open up you know, another app and you know, do, do the same thing that you can on um, you know, an Apple. It would do a little bit different just because you have more control of it, like I said, but it basically works exactly the same as the iPhone. Next, let's check out the app library. This is brand new to iOS 14. Think of this as the app launcher on an Android phone. So on Android, you have home screens, and then you also have their app launcher, but iPhone has home screens and then more home screens. This is kind of what the equivalent of an app launcher would be, and it automatically puts these into categories for you. So at the top, you have suggestions. Maybe there's gonna be apps that you use quite a bit or they think you're gonna use quite a bit. They have recently added apps, your most recently added apps, and then it breaks it down into categories. Social, productivity, creativity, entertainment, utilities, reference and reading, lifestyle, health and fitness, other and games and then within here sometimes you have even more so you have like maybe three apps you use the most for creativity or you can click these and see all of them and they have that for basically all of these type of apps i think this is a great idea and you can also search at the top for what you're looking maybe you're looking for bank of america so you have you know search for that real quick stuff like that and also when you remove an app say i want to remove uh this i can hit remove app and if I remove it, I can delete it or I can add it to my app library instead so I can only see it on the app library. So it's kind of a way to clean up your home screens and just see all this stuff from here. Um, I don't know if I, I, I'm not blown away by this app library thing. It just seems like a glorified home screen again. I'd almost feel like, or want this maybe on a completely separate screen rather than just at the end of all my screens. I don't know. It's kind of cool. They give us the ability to have almost like an app launcher, but again, it's not does not blow me away in, 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 by a long shot. Next up, let's talk about the app launcher. So with the app launcher, the big difference here is, well, like I said, with the iPhone, you have to swipe all the way over um, to the right. With Android, you just swipe up, and you have all your apps. And you can sort these the way you want a lot of the a lot of the time you know you can sort these this is a tcl phone so it just depends a lot of the time it's either alphabetical or by recent um, sometimes you even have more customization depending upon which launcher you're using i can do it by usage or installation or icon color a lot more control on the um, the android side also has a search bar just like you do on the iphone side it's just I mean, you would rather swipe up, which is super simple to do, and you can do it from any of 
you know, the home screens that you have on your phone or do you have to, have to always go over all the way over to the right with your iPhone. Again, I, I like the way Android does it better. It's a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more intuitive, and it seems a little bit more natural. But I mean, the way iPhone does it seems actually quite easy. And then lastly, we have widgets on the iPhone. So on the iPhone, widgets had been uh, relegated uh, to being on this screen right here, but maybe you want it on your home screens now, where your apps are, you can now actually do that. And the way you do that is you're gonna press and hold on an app, and you're going to do edit home screen, and you're gonna hit this button up here where it says plus, and this is where you can either search for widgets to add to your home screen or add them already. So maybe I want my podcast. So I'm gonna tap podcast and it gives you a different couple of different widgets to add. You can add this big one, this long one, or maybe this one. So I'm gonna tap this and hit add widget and it puts it right on my home screen. I can move it really wherever I want. Maybe I wanna put it here. When I'm done, I'm just gonna hit done. And I can tap that to start listening to podcasts, but maybe I want to do something else in here. Maybe I want to add another one. So edit home screen, and then I'm going to go with a plus sign again. And maybe I want to be able to check the news. So I'm going to tap news. Again, different widgets to add here if I want. Maybe I want this one, so I'll hit add widget. And what I can do here, let me see if this works. Tap bring this over here. Put this on top of it. And this is a cool feature. I actually like this feature. I wish Android had something like this. I don't know that they do. When I hit done and I want to go through this, I can actually swipe through this widget back and forth to run through all my widgets. I like this feature. I think this is really cool. I like that Apple did this with their widgets that you can just swipe through. And again, maybe you can do something like this on Android. I don't think you can. I've never seen anything like it. So I think this is cool that you can do this with the widgets. You don't have to do this. You could have, you know, widgets on different pages or one up here, one down there, stuff like that. That's kind of cool. I like that they did, they, they did that. So uh, ups to uh, Apple for being able to do that with the widgets, cool stuff. Lastly, widgets on Android, they work pretty much the same. Press and hold on a blank part of your home screen, tap widgets, choose the widget that you want. Let's just say I want maybe this Netflix one. So I'll press and hold it, choose where I want it to go. And I can make this bigger or smaller usually. So press and hold it. And then you get these little bars here and you can you know, make it smaller. Make it, make it uh, larger if you want as well. It's really cool, really easy to do that. And you can use it. But like I said, the, the one thing you can't do is add a widget on top of a widget. So if I want this clock, actually let's choose something else. Let's choose this music player. So I'm gonna press and hold the music player. And I can't drop that on top of that like you can on iPhone. I like that you can do that on iPhone so you have like stacks of widgets on top of each other. I think that's pretty cool. But regardless, they still kind of work the same. So there you guys go. Three new key cool features on the iPhone and compared to Android. Um, so widgets, app library, and uh, videos that play on top of other apps and within just on top of the uh, home screens as well. So well, let me know what you think. Does, who does it better, Android or Apple? I, for Honestly, I think for widgets, I kind of like the way Apple does it over Android. But uh, and, and even the videos thing, like playing on top of everything, it's pretty smooth and pretty easy. Uh, not that Android's is hard, but uh, I think they're kind of tied in that regard maybe. And then with the app library or app launcher, I think Android does it better. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace.